Saturday. Um, it is currently Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Um, basically, we the vlog that you'll see before this was filmed on Sunday, um, and then this has been filmed Wednesday. We are going to a show with the boys today. I was meant to be going on Sunday again. But the weather was due to be really hot on Sunday, so I cancelled well, cancelled my plans and I decided to book the show for Wednesday instead. Um, but then now the weather's changed again and it's saying that it's not even going to be that hot on Sunday anymore, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so I could have just gone on Sunday and it would have been easier for us as I'd have actually had help. Um, it would have been more than just me and mum. But it is what it is and we're going today instead. Um, it's not that warm at the moment actually, but it's very cloudy. Um, it's still gonna be warm today, but it's not gonna be as warm as what it's going to be. Um, I think it's meant to be like 33 degrees it's meant to go up to. Um, it's gonna be like 27 today. So, anyways, we're taking the boys out. Um, we're going to Hascom today, which if you watched my vlogs, you would have seen. We've been there a couple of times for arena hire. Um, couldn't you? Please watch out, I'm trying to vlog Mr. Bloody Crow, shut up. Anyway, the crow is so annoying. So I've just, I'm just feeding the horses at the moment. Um, one who's having his feed, Ryan, Brian and Mary. Boys are coming out today. Ryan's just gonna jump, we jump in the same class as we did at uh, Failbridge, which I didn't vlog for you guys, as long as I didn't video. Um, so I'm jumping the Discovery on Ryan and then Brian's going to jump the 110. I don't know how we're going to do it as um, we've got no one helping. So Brian's going to stand on the lorry by himself and then um, when we're jumping Brian, I don't really know what's going on Ryan, but I have to ask someone to hold him. Um, but anyway, we're leaving about quarter past eight and the class starts at 10 um, and I'm like ninth in. So yeah. That's today's plan. Um, I'm just going to quickly muck out with horses now. Or my three. And then I'll see you guys in a bit. Changed. Oh my god, my bro. <coughs> right, I'm changed. Um, I've got my pyjama bottoms on to keep my legs clean. Um, I'm just going to quickly wipe the horses over now. It's got a couple little stains on them where they've laid in their poo. Um, and then we'll be off. I've literally got 20 minutes. <laughs>
They want your naked, Scott. What's that? You've got to be naked. Yeah. <laughs> Very happy with how that went. Ignore how bad my face is. And I'm just sitting on the lorry now with the boys, waiting to jump my second class on Brian. Um, I've asked them to start of the discussion about the Discovery and then I met the start of the new coming soon. So I'm going to go straight into that. Um, yeah, I'm going to go straight into that. 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 Yeah, I'm going to crashed through one literally as I was about to go in. The, um, the last Oxar before we went in the ring, he said it wasn't for him, which I definitely realise now. Um, it's like I'm sitting, I'm sitting at the start, but as soon as I start jumping and stuff, I start falling to the side, like I start tipping over, then the saddle just constantly tips. So um, when I was like coming around the corner to go straight to the warm-up jump, I was sitting out of line and I think he could feel me sitting out of line so he kept on drifting to the side. So I ended up taking out the wing of my foot twice. Um, and then my last oxar, big oxar before I went in, he did it again and he chipped in and completely crashed through it, like stopped, scrambled through it, everything, um, which completely freaked him out. So now I had to do two smaller oxen and just go straight in as I was next in. So I wasn't expecting much from him to be honest. I literally thought I was gonna have to retire and it was just gonna go absolutely awfully. But he was an angel, as you would have seen. Like he just took me around, he was feeling it. Like he literally loved it, loved life. So yeah. <laughs> I'm happy. Um, we're in the lead at the moment, but I didn't actually go for it, go for it. So I don't know whether I'm going to stay in the lead. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with him. That's clear round now under our belt before we go to Hickstead. So yeah, really happy. I'm just waiting now for mum to come back with some cold drinks as I'm sweating. Um, and then we'll get Brian ready to jump. Second course walk. I'm not impressed and I'll explain to you guys when I get home.
guys <laughs> i know you're all rethinking what is going on she was actually crying two seconds ago i mean it wasn't two seconds ago obviously but it was two seconds ago for you guys if i have to talk a bit louder it's because we've got fans on at the moment for the horses right it's so hot yeah it's really hot oh yeah we're gonna be talking about you yeah i know tell them tell them what happened oh, no. anyway I was crying, not because of Brian's round, because if you would have watched it, you'll know that he jumped really, really well. Um, I was crying because the judges completely screwed up my times. Um, basically, obviously, Brian jumped a really good round. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't like ridiculously fast um, because of what happened at Fellbridge, which obviously I didn't vlog for you guys. Um, I didn't want to go like flat out, but I thought I'd do some turns, you know, see what he'd be like. Um, and he was a really good boy. He was really, really good. He took them all. He jumped really well for me. Um, and obviously he jumped clear. I was very happy about that. And then when I checked, um, basically when I came out of the arena, they didn't call up my time. Um, they didn't call up my time until the next person was like jumping round. Like, but by that point, I literally was across the car park. So I kind of heard them say clear round. I didn't hear a time um, and then when I went back to the lorry our friends were on the, in the lorry next to us she said that I was in like second or third and there'd only been like five people in and I was thinking I'm sorry but like I'm not I wasn't that slow like I don't understand because they're like newcomer horses going in front of Brian and if you know what I mean like normally newcomer horses are slower because usually people are going in to get their clears for like the second round newcomer second round or the younger horses that are just gaining experience like a lot of the time open sections are a lot more competitive than newcomer sections and um, because obviously open sections are just full of all these like grade a horses older horses stuff like that um i was a bit like what like i was i was surprised i'm not gonna lie um but i just thought oh maybe i wasn't that fast or whatever so i checked the I looked at my, um, <laughs> do you do that? <laughs> I'll get you in a minute. I looked at my video of my round, didn't I? I looked at my video, yeah, I did. Looked at your video and I wasn't that slow. I really wasn't. So I thought I'd quickly time it um, to see what our stopwatch would say, pretty much. And the time came back a lot faster than what they put me down as so basically they put me down as 44 seconds and then when we timed it i should have got um around 31 seconds max um so yeah we were like okay you added on 13 seconds to my time that is absolutely ridiculous so my mum went up to the judges box to speak to them and they didn't want to have any of it really they basically said that ew. they basically said that their um timing equipment was working properly and they had like a stopwatch like a backup and that there was no way the time could be wrong so we were like well it is but apparently they can't look at um video footage because you're you can tamper with it which makes no sense because you like you could tell if someone just like fast forwarded a video because the horse's canter wouldn't be normal it'd be like sped up but anyway they're not allowed to look at that apparently so they got left um and then when we left when my mum come back over i re-looked at the live results and they changed my time to 36 seconds down from 44 so clearly they knew that they'd screwed up because otherwise they wouldn't have changed my time in the first place after saying that 44 seconds was my time why are you calling me Ryan saying at me um so basically they clearly knew they screwed up pretty much but they just didn't want to admit it um so after speaking to quite a few people and looking at the time stuff like that and knowing full well that they've got it wrong um we just had to leave because there was no way they were going to change it you know what if anyone knows what bs judges like i'm sure most judges probably like it they are so what's the word for it they basically just think that they're never wrong. There's a word for it, but I can't think of it because, you know, they just basically never think they're in the wrong and no one can ever be right over them. So we were just like, we weren't going to wait as 
um, I was at the start of the class and there was still another like 40 to go. Um, so it would have been another like two hours of waiting around for them to just tell us no, pretty much. Um, so we just decided to go home and yeah, we just had to basically leave it. On the way home from the show, I basically put up an Instagram story complaining about what happened, just explaining the situation and just my frustration about it. And um, when I got home, I had a phone call from Amelia, who is Hascom's show secretary and I think she just runs the shows and she very kindly kind of gave me some compensation for it she was very apologetic about the situation and just explained that she had no idea that happened and that she was really disappointed about what happened pretty much and she felt bad for me so um she gave me some compensation by giving me like a voucher for some um show entries going forward so she gave me i think like 80 pound worth of show vouchers um which was basically the prize money for second place as i would have ended up second place because she couldn't physically actually give me the prize money on the rosette. But, I mean, that was amazing, really. That was more than I ever expected. I wasn't expecting to get anything out of it. I just wanted to air my frustration at show judges being so rude um, and not being able to admit when they screw up. And the fact that nothing gets done about it, like, considering how much money we pay to jump at shows and, like, paying in diesel and petrol fees and then getting nothing from it when it's not your fault that they screwed up is out of order, really. So... Yeah, I'm really happy that we got some compensation for it. And, like, Brian still technically comes second to me. He jumped unreal. He was a really good boy. Um, and I'm feeling very positive now for Hicksid. And then Ryan, I don't think I actually told you, but he actually won the Discovery. So that's amazing. Um, really, really pleased with him. He was such a good boy. Um, yeah, I honestly couldn't be happier. So at the moment, I'm just making their feeds. They're waiting for me. I don't know whether that is what I don't about that. They're waiting for me now for their food. So I'm going to go. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little show vlog. And yeah, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. No, she got the good vibes when seasons change. But where to say?